Hello and welcome to Tutorials Point. In this session, we'll be learning about JavaScript callbacks. What is callback? A callback is also a function. It is a function which is passed as parameter to another function. This callback function is executed always after the previous function is executed. Like here in example, we can see we have applied click function to some ID. So this click function is executed first after which this function, which is passed as parameter to click function. It is nothing but callback function. It is executed after the click function is executed. Let's see how to declare a callback function and how to use it practically. In this HTML document to demonstrate callback functions, we have a div with ID hello, which says click here. Another paragraph with ID by which says click me to hide. And we have copied the CDN from code.jquery.com. Our script tag contains dollar hello dot click function when we click this div something will happen and that something is passed as function to click function that is this function is our callback function which says alert hello so we'll get alert box saying hello after we click this div and another function which says dollar by dot click when we click on this paragraph which has an id by it will go to dollar by dot hide this function is passed as callback to this click function which contains dollar by dot hide and this dot hide function contains another function which is passed as callback to hide which contains alert by so in this case we get an, an alert after we click this div in this case we get an alert after we click on by and after this paragraph is hidden. Let's see the output. First we click on our first div. We'll get an alert box saying hello. So we got an alert box which says hello. Now when we click on paragraph which says click me to hide, it gets hidden and after it gets completely hidden we get the alert box saying bye. Let's see this once again. When we click on this function it says hello which we get after we click and here we see that when we click it gets completely hidden and after it gets completely hidden we see this alert box so this is how callback functions work thank you